And also new tonight, city leaders say in 2023, car crashes killed 36 people here in Knoxville. Some of those leaders joined local pedestrian advocates and those who have lost loved ones to car crashes for a remembrance ceremony earlier this afternoon. Reporter Avery Gingrich attended the ceremony and joins us now. Hello. Brunch with friends in the holiday spirit fills Market Square with a joyful hum on Sunday morning. But on the square's north end, Bike Walk Knoxville is holding space for World Remembrance Day. We really just want to take this opportunity to gather and remember the, the people who have lost their lives here in Knoxville um, to traffic violence and take an opportunity to think about what we can do to be better. About a dozen local advocates, city leaders, and neighbors attended. They shared stories of loss. My son's injuries were, were bad. And hope. I want to advocate. I don't know how, but well, you're doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> this ceremony is an example of campaigns by city leaders and advocates to improve Knoxville's roads. The city's Vision Zero plan aims to eliminate car crash related deaths in Knoxville by 2040. We're trying to do better by using a healthier mindset, safety first, but also trying to improve our um, speed speed infrastructure, design of our streets, bow bouts, um, better light sequencing. Recent repairs on North Broadway are an example of Vision Zero. Advocates say change is possible, but is going to take time. So for now, they focus on what they can control. When I look back on that crash, I don't hold it. I don't hold the person who hit me to blame. I hold the design of our roadways. So what can we do to make those roadways safer? If there had been a separate space. Now, city leaders told us Vision Zero is a combination of long and short term projects funded by a combination of grants and your tax dollars.